everybody, I'm Bill Stevens, commentator for NBCSN's coverage of the Mecham Auctions. And today, I'm at Thompson Street Customs in Denver, Colorado. Why? Because they are embarking on a fabulous project, thanks to the folks at Kendall Oil, that wanted Thompson Street Customs to build one of the most outrageous 67 Shelby Mustang Resto Mods you have ever seen. So, if you're ready, welcome to Titanium Garage. Well, let's introduce you to the men behind Thompson Street Customs. It's Robert Thompson Sr. and his son Robert Jr., better known as Cope, to those in the custom car community. Let's go back to the beginnings, Robert Sr. How did Thompson Street Customs come about? I started it in my garage, building cars and painting cars. It just kept growing and growing. Ended up getting more customers. As years went on, I was introduced to a guy by the name of Phil Madden. And he's the one that we started building this 51 five window pickup for. And that was the best truck in the show in SEMA in 2010. And for you to win best truck of the show, obviously put Thompson Street Customs on the map once and for all. That one was a cool project because that was our first project that we actually worked on together. It was pretty cool. It was fun because we were fighting each other the whole time. My dad's real into the older classic style, trying to keep everything original, but updated. I'm into nothing original whatsoever. I, I'm not a huge fan of anything stock or original. So he calms me down, but then I sort of boost him up when it comes into it. So it, it all sort of just melts together and comes out perfect. That's good. I'm glad you're not trying to sell the fact that you get along all the time. You know, <laughs> we have a little feud here and there on stuff, but I look at some of the things that he comes up with and I say, he knows what he's doing. Talk about the Kendall Custom. What uh, what led you to want to do a 67 Shelby Mustang? The Mustang's, you know, an already an iconic car. All the great builders have already done their take on it. Trying to come up with something that's completely different than anything else out there. Kind of like with Kendall, you know, they put all this technology into the motor oils and, you know, lubricants and advances everything goes. So that's sort of what we wanted to do was put as much modern technology into the car as possible. And keeping in mind, that Kendall slogan, you get out what you put in, is kind of like one of the ongoing themes for a project like this. How much of their input and inspiration from who they are comes into play when you're designing your car for them? We wanted to keep the car as classy as possible, but look like it's going 100 miles an hour when it's just sitting still. If Kendall made this car, that's exactly how it would just look from the factory. I probably drew at least 50 different versions of this car. Here's the original sketch that you made, Cope, of the Kendall Custom. You know, this is a classic resto mod. It's got classic looks, but high-tech power plant suspension platform. Talk about the design elements so that you could maintain the flavor of the vintage Mustang and yet have some innovations as well. Yeah, so like on the gauges, Dakota Digital made those for us, so they all have the Kendall logo in it already which is pretty cool and that'll all light up red. The way the steering wheel looks, it will match the same design as the wheels. And we also took the same emblem that's on the outside and we brought that onto the dashboard. What we did for the side of the car to have that logo, not only will it be on the wheels, but we basically cut a half of this emblem off and just sort of shortened it down and that's the emblem that goes on the side of the car. So on the center console, what we wanted to do was just sort of have something that was a little bit more modern sleek kind of goes through the whole back of the car that way it separates the passengers and just give it a good cockpit feel make it feel like you're in a fighter jet cope explain to me how you came to design that cnc billet piece that goes in the pillar it's just it's just so exquisite and remains within the theme of the entire car it's not the normal shelby vent um, looking at a lot of the shelby cars it's more of a vent that sticks out of the car has a scoop and that's where it sort of gets its air in. With this one, what I wanted to do was sort of take more of a modern cue to it and have just one solid billet piece, but just keep it really modern, keep it a uh, brushed aluminum. I think that's gonna attract a lot of people to look at it and just be like, wow, they've really put a lot of thought into it. And like I was saying with the vent up here, we have another vent that's just sort of down low as a brake cooler. All the vents and everything on here is not just for look, everything will be functional. Like you said, you know, when you get in this car, it's gonna feel like you're in a, a newer car. 
The whole interior is gonna to be totally different. All leather, billet, everything inside that. You want it to be as comfortable as possible. So it's got heated and cool seats. It's got DVD navigation. It's got Bluetooth. Every, everything that your new car would have is inside this old car. And maybe most importantly, it's one of a kind. Yes. And that's a wrap on this edition of Titanium Garage. Hope you enjoyed seeing how the design and concept process came together here at Thompson Street Customs. And next time, we're gonna have some real fun. We take a close up look at that Dynacorn 67 Shelby Mustang reproduction body and that Roadster Shop fast track chassis. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Remember at Kendall Oil, we say you get out what you put in. And until next time, this is Bill Stevens. We'll see you then on Titanium Garage.